Hey, amazing people, this is Roby with the Divi Engine team, and yup, you guessed it, this is another Divi Engine quick tip for you. And today, we're gonna be taking a look at Divi Machine, but specifically, the filters in Divi Machine and the scope of your search boxes. So, if you don't know what Divi Machine is, or you're not yet using it, what you're waiting for, check in the description of this video, there's a discount code just for you. Go and grab it, it will make your Divi site development easier than ever. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and you are a Divi Engine customer, definitely do so because you don't want to miss these quick tips on how to get the most out of your investment. All right, that's enough for me. Why don't we jump right into it right now? Okay, folks, so first things first, we're going to start in the back end of our Divi install here. And we're going to go ahead and go to Divi Engine, whoops, Divi Engine Machine Settings. Now, over here, you'll see a nifty tab here that is Search Settings. That's the one we're going for. And here you've got a bunch of options. So let me jump in the front end here and let's see, maybe I wanna see all the bags that are listed on the site. So I'll go ahead and type in bags, but it says no post, but you know, we, we, you're not blind, right? You just saw that there were bags on your screen here. Now the fix for that is super simple. All you do is you come back here and if you follow our classified scores and Divi Engine members, that's free to you. We set up these item types, and within these item types, you've got all your different items, and this is taxonomy. So we need to open up this search scope to include our taxonomy. So let's go to the search settings again and activate taxonomy here, and let's say save. Let's come back to the front end. I'm gonna clear my filters, and now we'll go and type bags again. And boom, just that easy. You can see that it's pulling in all the bags and that was super simple. Now I wanna show you one more thing. And again, it's gonna to be to do with the scope. Maybe you wanna see all the lost pets. So if I go and I type in lost, that's not supposed to work, Max. <laughs> oh my dear. Okay, so maybe you wanna go ahead and see if, well, just see all the stuff you've missed, you know, all the sold items. And you, you know, of course it doesn't need to be this example. That's the one I'm using. And again, it says, oh no, no posts. But we know when we reset this folder, we'll see some sold items as you do right here. Okay, so how do we fix that? We're gonna go back over here. Now we know that that is an item status that we set in ACF, so it's an ACF field. So we wanna make sure that we're searching the ACF group of classics ACF. So let's enable that, let's save that. Let's try that again on the front end. So let's reset that and I'm gonna hit the SOLD buttons, and there you go. Here you've got a list of all the sold items. So guys, super simple but effective way that you can control the scope within Divi Machine. Again, if you don't have it yet, check out the product page linked in the description of this video, and there's a fat discount for you as well. But guys, this is all from me for today. It's been Roby with the Divi Engine team. I'm gonna catch you in the next video. Thank you for being here. Bye for now.